We're going to do a little video on this thing. How it's made, what it's for, what I designed it for. It's had a TPU. Flexible. It's, it's very simple and everybody can design one and I'm going to upload the basic design but you can do it yourself. It's very easy. And I'm going to show you how. And I'm going to also show you what it's for. And once you see what it's for, you're going to want one on your 3D printer. Okay, quite simply, what it is, is wire management. Right here, over here, I have another one. And what makes it awesome is it's all printed and you don't need any kind of bolt. You just stick it in a slot of 2020 and spin it and it clips in and it holds. Now, before we get into this, I took a piece of 2020 and took a whole bunch of measurements. I actually imported it into Fusion and then did some work. There's a bunch of 2020 profiles you can you can get. I just downloaded a 2020 profile. I think I actually got it from Open Builds. And I made some basic measurements. And this is what I came up with, wrote them all down. This is all very confusing looking, but it's really not. You basically have three blocks. The bottom block has an angle in it. And if you think about it, it's the negative of the 2020 aluminum profile. The only thing I have noticed is this 4.75. I'm probably going to make like 5.5 because I've noticed with the 2020 V grooves, the angle here for the actual V groove, which would be right here if you can see my cursor, it's giving you very little catch here. So I'll probably make this like five and a half or eight, even six. So it catches plenty of the outer face. But other than that, it works fine. But. This is all my measurements, and this is what I'm going to start with. And that's just for the clip into the 2020. And obviously I've done this. I've actually done three or four. I've actually done dozens of them. And I've done other things and other just wiring clips. But let's start with it. And close this. We don't need it. And then let's get it so it's set up and we can see everything. All right, so we're going to start with a simple sketch. And I am going to sketch on the bottom plane, and the reason is I'm going to make this so it's standing up. It really doesn't matter. You can always rotate it, but it just makes life easier. So this first one, which is, if you look right here, is 3 by 2. And that's kind of centered on that. So I'm going to create a box. And I'll do it here. And I'll line this up. Now if you click on that, and you're not actually clicking, excuse me, if you hold over that for a second, you get that green square. If you drag off now and you get in line, it'll tell you you're in line. See the little green little dot. So I'll go like this. And I want it 3 by 2. And it's very tiny. So I need to zoom in. Bring this up here. And I want it approximately aligned with that. And there's a way to align it, and I just can't remember how to do it. Let's bring these up closer so I can actually see them. Wish you could flip them, but anyway, not a big deal. And this one. I'm going to do another box real quick, and I'll use the edge start, and I know I want that lined up, and again, I'm going to make it three, which is about right, but I'm going to make this 5.5, let's say, because I want a little bigger, that's 4.75, I want a little bigger, so I'm catching more material on the outside edge. Then, I don't think I gave myself a length, yes, I did. So, I know this, this is an angle, and I know that that pitch is an angle, but I know the two dimensions, so all I have to do, or the three dimensions, is draw three lines instead of a box. This first one needs to be 5.3, see right here, 5.375, and that fits in there, so I want 5.375. Return. 
But then if I draw another line and I come down and I come straight down and I make it, it is 5.5. 5.5. Now why does that look too big? Aha, because it's from way up there. Command Z. Uh, see, I measured it off of here. I don't know why. But we can still do that. Come down. 5.5. 5.5. That looks about right. Then we draw another line out this way. And it's 2.55. 2.5. Five, five. And then we just connect those two and it is what it is. There we go. We have our profile. Now I'm going to draw one more line right here in the center. And escape. I'm going to make that line a construction line. And the only reason is I'm going to select everything. But that line, make sure that's not selected. Okay, it wasn't. <clears throat> and I'm going to mirror it. Mirror right here. All that stuff. And poof. I have my profile. Now if I take this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. And now I go over to solids, and I extrude it. And I came out, I think I did four. This is one that matters. Uh, four, yes, I'm pretty sure it's four. I can always change it. That's the beautiful thing about Fusion, four. That's my clip right there. Done. Isn't that smashing? For the actual arc... I want to click on here, hide that old sketch, so I have a solid thing, create a new sketch right here, and actually, you know what, I'm going to just go back to that sketch, edit sketch, look at all that crazy crap, okay, so we're going to do a circle, I'm going to go over here because I know I want to do it centered, I can do it right from here. See, it locks in. It's kind of hard to see with all those other markings. And somehow or another, I can close all those. Look at, uh, where is it? It's right here somewhere. Show points. Uh, show constraints. There we go. It makes all that busy crap go away. All right. So, I can draw a circle. You use a two-point, and there is a reason for it. Now, I know a distance is whatever. Let's see. What size was that? I think that's three quarter. So what I can type in is 0.75 inches. And that's my three quarter. Now that's for three quarter loom. You don't have to. Let's, let's change it. I already have some for three quarter. So let's make it a half inch. 0.5 inches. Now if you're using metric, that's fine. Now the next thing you want to do is offset now I do it by my nozzle I know I'm using a larger nozzle for this I'm gonna use my um, core XY the llama core and it has a 0.8 nozzle which means I want at least two traces of the nozzle around if not three so 0.8 times 3 is 2.4 so I want to make this 2.4 and that makes it the dimension or diameter uh, so I know I have three outer shells when I go to print it. Now, if you're doing a 0.4 nozzle, you want probably four, but I want at least three with the with the 0.8 nozzle. And then I take this, and I come off of here, and I just kind of decide, and I'm actually going to make this tighter. Hmm, I'm almost thinking I'm going to make it a side entrance one. Hmm. Do I want to make it a side entrance? Sure, let's make it a side entrance. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to go about here. Now I'm just guessing. And what this is going to do is allow me to have a hole here. When I extrude it, I'm going to extrude this and not this. And that's going to leave the entrance for the wire loom. 
actually I think I'm going to change this and make it a little tighter even. Where I'm going to use TPU, I can make it really tight. And I've already made a mistake because this is going to be, no, that should be all right. Yeah, no, this is going to be too tight to the aluminum. Eh, maybe not. Let's go with it. All right, finish sketch. Let's go forward again. That's extruded. Let's go forward again. We can get rid of this because we don't need it right now. Delete. All right, what we want to do now is extrude that. And I want to go out like 20. And I see something I already want to add. I want to add this and this. And I want to make it join. And that makes that whole thing extrude out proper like. Not sure about that little lip. Do I want to add that? Sure, why not? And let's bring it out to 20 millimeters. Because I like 20. It seems like a good number for this kind of thing. Now, it looks kind of big, but you got to remember that's the one thing with designing is it, it things often look bigger than they are. Alright, I think I'm okay with that. And now I'm just going to take this and this and this and this and hide the sketch and I'm gonna arc these a little bit with a fillet to make them smoother and I did I don't know let's do one even one millimeter and that kind of smooths it out there a little bit it's actually screwing up this clip a little bit but you know what I'm okay with that it looks fine to me and then right here now you don't want to touch this because that'll make your screw up um, that'll make the uh, clip not work well but this I can screw with and make a little smoother here give it a little bite and I'm not hating that now the last little trick as you can see, this is a pretty simple construction. Clips right in. You don't want to touch any of this stuff because that's what holds it in place. You can you could fill it this, but there's really no need. The last thing I do is make a clip for zip ties to hold on to. So I'm going to offset that. Okay, why won't that let me offset? That's a new one. Cancel. Okay, that worked. And I want to do about 0.5 or 1. One's fine. And then I connect it somewhere. And I don't really like it going all the way. So I just kind of randomly make it in here. And I'll come across straight. As you can see, the little green dotted line that's telling me I'm parallel or in line with. And then I do the same thing here and see how that does that. Boom, done. Now I didn't connect something somewhere because that's not a selectable closed area, or is it? Escape. Well, I guess it is. Didn't look like it was. But here's the trick. When I go to do solids, you could just extrude it down from there. You know, join. And you have your little lip, and it's on the very end. I like the back set a little bit from it. I don't know why, it just makes it look cool. So you go up to here, and instead of starting from profile, you say from an offset plane. And let's do it negative two. Negative two. And see what that did? It, it started two millimeters from the edge. I think I like that. And we'll do it negative two millimeters. And we'll hide the sketch. And now you can see it made this little clip there. Now I want to make this so it all prints without supports. And what I need to do to do that is just put a little pitch right here on this. So I'll go up, modify. You could do a draft too, I think will work, but I just do a chamfer. And whatever that offset was, I think it was one. Let's try it. 
that puts a little bit of an angle on it so as you're printing to the 45 degree angle that will print without supports I won't need to support it and that's it we are done there's the little clip we just designed and that'll snap right in the only real detailed part is uh is this clip which I will post the dimensions that you need the only other problem I see is this arcing down but honestly that shouldn't hurt anything and if I don't like it I could just cut it here or in the original it may actually hit the 2020 in aluminum extrusion see how it's going down in here but this is the thing here and how far is this how far is this apart? From here to here is 0.6. So if I made that offset 0.6 instead of 1, it would clear. I still think it's going to clear because that's inside the actual notch. So I think I'm all set. I think that'll work. It may nick the this face right here might nick the extrusion a little bit but that might also be a good thing and you can round that over if you wanted you could put fillets on here and here you really don't want to do it a lot anywhere else but that's pretty much it there's your clip let's go print it and then we go and slice it and print it and it's done and we grab it and we come over here and drop one on the floor. Let's give it a shot. Snaps right in. Snaps in. Awesome! So there you have it. A little clip. Literally designed in 15 minutes. I don't even think it's that long because I think this video is going to be under 20 with all the excess crap. So, yeah, 15 minutes or less, you can design something like this yourself. Um, and there you go. Cool little useful print.